Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for one year, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today we are going to speak about artifacts, universal and exclusive artifacts. The difference between those are universal artifacts are mainly free-to-play friendly artifacts which we can get from the Universal Artifact Compendium. Uh, I understand it's hard for free to play players to gather a lot of artifacts, but we need to understand what's the difference between them. The exclusive artifacts are mainly from the Forge of Light and exclusive for a particular hero. That's the main difference, and they are, of course, a little bit stronger than the Universal Artifacts, which we can get from the normal chests, right? Uh, as always, I will try to mention every single Legion type which we have in this in this game. And first of all, I will speak about Archers uh, and the Universal Artifacts for the Marksman Legion type is uh, this. For example, first one is Shadow Blades, which is Marksman PvP Assault Artifact. The best uh, stats which you can get for the Marksman heroes are attack stats and the uh, Marksman unit attack and Legion attack is a great stat. The skill of the artifact is like you are dealing damage to 5 enemy legions in designated circle. Uh, damage type is physical and damage, damage factor is 1800. More levels you're gonna get, higher damage you will have on the Shadow Blades. And in my opinion, Shadow Blades can be used on an, on almost every single art, every single heroes, marksman heroes, which we are fighting with currently. That's why, plus you can get Shadow Blades from the uh, chests, from the normal chests. That's why, it, in my opinion, the Shadow Blades uh, are the universal artifact for the marksman. Uh, another universal artifact is Heart of Kamasi, more of a defensive type of artifact for the uh, marksman heroes. Magic unit defense, legend defense, not the best attributes, but it's great for defensive type of uh, legions. What's the great thing about Heart of Kamasi is that you are buffing two nearby legions, uh, physical kin, physical attack 15%, and onslaught normal attack damage dealt 15% duration 10 seconds well it's a uh, great artifact especially if you are marksman main player and you have couple of uh, legions which are marksmen you will be giving a lot of damage to two nearby legions it's quite underrated artifact i have been using this artifact for a whole season and i'm really really happy uh, about this one uh, of course more skills you're gonna get more percentages you are going to have uh, 13 percent uh, physical attack bonus and 30 percent normal attack damage bonus is a uh, quite a lot if you will be able to have five level on the heart of kamasi uh, regarding other artifacts for the marksman which is universal in my opinion is uh, of course wireless bow which i think is weakest one so far uh, marksman unit unit hp legion hp not the best stats for the marksman artifacts so far but the skill is of course uh, assault skill dealing damage to five enemy legions 1600 damage factor uh, damaged legions are sealed cannot cast artifact skills for 10 seconds it's more of a uh, debuff style of artifact skill in my opinion not the best one but if you don't have shadow blades if you don't have heart of kamasi especially uh, shadow blades you will be generally using the viola's bow um, in terms of universal one the exclusive ones are more fun in my opinion for example first one rattle spear if you're gonna check the exclusive ones it's easy to understand that the weapon of the heroes are the artifacts for example this spear is the weapon for the kinara that's why rattle spear is exclusive for kinara legions uh, of course magic unit attack legion attack base stats but why did the uh, rattle spear is exclusive for kinara right the answer is pretty simple uh, inflict slow that's generally not a big thing but what's important is when your legion is uh, legion inflicts defense break on an enemy legion your legion gains defense penetration ignores 10 percent of enemy defense for seven seconds and in terms of the defense break nico and kinara is the main defense break uh, legendary hero pair for the 
uh, these stats and i think rattle spear is a great great artifact for the nico and kinara hero pair uh, in terms of lonely hero i think rattle spear is exclusive uh, mainly for kinara right in terms of skill usage the usage of the skill is pretty weird if you are going to use manually but after the automatic use of the artifacts i think it got way easier to use rattle spear another uh, very strong artifact exclusive for Cindrion and Cindrion and Fragar uh, hero pair is a gold crest uh, marksman unit attack legion attack great stats and the skill shadow flight dam deals damage to the selected legion damage type is physical uh, damage factor 2800 on a level one uh, skill is a uh, quite a lot your legion gains haste march speed 15 uh, percent and the additional effect is whenever fragor is in your legion casting artifact skill deals additional damage 900 and also target will be immobilized cannot move for three seconds immobilized is important because syndrome and fragar is normal attack damage dealer style, uh, style marksman uh, hero and whenever enemy is standing still you are dealing more normal attack damage that's why it's a great effect for the syndrome and fragar hero pair great artifact especially hard for a free-to-play players to obtain this artifact but still uh, if you will ever get lucky in call of dragons and you will get gold crest you will be really really happy and you will be attaching gold crest to the uh, syndrome and fragar uh, hero pair other than that we don't have much exclusive artifacts for marksmen uh, that's why it's time for me to speak about infantry which has uh, i think the most amount of artifacts in this game currently for the universal artifacts for infantry heroes uh, first of all spring of silence uh, universal ones because you want because you can get from the normal uh, chests right um, like in general infantry has two type of artifacts uh, attacking artifacts and defensive artifacts uh, from my own observation uh, infantry attack artifacts make you very uh, like uh, not tanky which means that you are going to die pretty fast but if you're gonna choose artifact with defenses in the stats your infantry legion will be way way tankier which means it will stay uh, alive longer and deal more counter-attack damage spring of silence is attacking style of universal artifact for infantry uh uni uni infantry unit attack legion attack and stats for the attacking style the skill for the spring of silence is the dealing damage to three nearby legions physical damage type uh, damage factor 1600 and uh, main thing about this artifact is that you are slowing enemies which means it will be easier for you to catch them another universal slash exclusive artifact is the dragon rift uh, again attacking style of uh, uh, artifact for infantry uh, physical damage uh, damage factor 2000 and because of uh, having keen on its play kit it can be used as an exclusive for meddling because meddling is played around uh, keen and meddling is of course more of a damage dealer type of infantry uh, hero in our game if this skill does not uh, defeat the target the target gains bleed deals damage every second for three seconds right uh, more of an offensive type of artifact which maybe tier 5 player will be using uh, in terms of other uh, exclusive um, universal artifacts for infantry is of course uh, Graymore's Warhammer like better stats in terms of staying alive infantry unit defense legion defense unfortunately this universal artifact in my opinion is not accessible from the normal chests uh, regarding skills deals damage uh, diffuse damage to four enemy legions and what's important about this artifact is that you are stunning enemy for two seconds effect can be triggered once every 10 seconds um, control type of artifact can be attached to the many uh, different infantry hero pairs depending on your choice now the dragon scale armor uh, in my opinion we are starting the exclusive ones uh, dragon scale armor is exclusively good for meddling now because of the keen of course uh, but better stats uh, infantry unit hp legion hp uh, hp and defense stats are mainly for the infantry uh, heroes which wants to stay alive longer uh, in terms of skill you are getting shield factor 2200 uh, boon shield duration is 10 seconds also grants keen to up to three friendly legions and designated circle and gain keen attack plus 10 percent for 10 seconds 
Well, for the Madeline, Madeline has a shield in its play kit. Also, Madeline has a kin, uh, which is great uh, from the artifact. That's why I think uh, Dragon Scale armor is exclusive for Madeline, uh, and it's a pretty strong artifact if you're going to use it. Unfortunately, we can't get uh, Dragon Scale armor from the normal chests, but maybe you will get lucky in the future uh, and you will be able to attain this great artifact another and one of the best artifacts for infantry uh, exclusive ones is spirit bone torque that's exclusive artifact for Goresh and Skolgul, uh, the best artifact for infantry in my opinion so far. Infantry unit defense, region defense, best stats for the uh, infantry unit type in the game. Uh, grants 600 rage points and taunts up to 5 surrounding enemy legions. I have not seen the better skill for the infantry units in this game. 600 rage, pretty unique uh, like uh, effect which we have on this uh, artifact. And uh, of course taunting five surrounding enemy legions for three seconds it's an amazing artifact especially for tier five players because you are going to do a lot of counter attack damage sorry uh, also your legion is also gains shelter determination for 30 seconds shelter is increasing more defense up to 15 percent and determination is normal attack damage taken minus five percent it's all about defense, it's all about taunt and dealing more and more counter-attack damage. In general, Goresh and Skolgul have been the main and most important hero pair for the infantry players. And uh, if you are infantry player, you want to have Spirit Bone Torque. Uh, the only way for us to get this artifact is from the Forge of Light and Season Ending Compendium. I wish everybody to attain it because you will be really, really happy using this amazing artifact so far. The next uh, legion type we are going to speak is of course mages, one of the most popular and most used legion type in the game. And of course mages has a variety of artifacts and let's speak about universal ones at first. One of the best universal artifacts for mages is phoenix eye, magic pvp assault type of artifact. Uh, in general for mages the best um, stats is of course attack because you want to deal as much damage as possible with the mages, right? Uh, regarding the skill, it's pretty pretty normal skill, dealing damage to four nearby legions. Damage factor is, uh, of course, type is uh, magic, and damage factor is 2,000 uh, damage factor on a level one skill. If you're gonna upgrade the skills of the burst strike, you will be able to deal uh, damage to five targets up to 4,000 uh, skill damage factor. Great artifact, currently using it. Uh, if you don't have any other uh, exclusive artifact for mages, you will be using Phoenix Eyes for sure. Uh, another uh, universal artifact for mages, more supportive defensive style, but mostly used um, in many different hero pairs, is Tier of Arbon. Uh, magic unit defense, legion defense, as I said, defensive style of artifact. But what's uh, unique about Tier of Arbon is that you will be healing four friendly legions in the circle healing factor is 500 for level 2 for level 1 is 400 and the healing duration is 8 seconds in general the like a tier of arbon is mostly used during the wars uh, farming darklings at the start of the season uh, that's why if you have a tier of arbon you are on a good spot because you are going to use it on a hundred percent for sure uh, in terms of uh, other universal artifacts there is another one uh, for example, Breath of the Jargentis, Magic PvP support. It's like a debuffer artifact. Uh, uh, if you like to play as a debuffer, especially with Alwyn, uh, Magic Unit Attack, Legion Attack, great stats. Uh, but what's unique about this artifact is that it inflicts defense break, um, defense minus 16% for 20 seconds to 10 enemy legions. That's a big amount of uh, enemy legions. 10 is quite unique, right? Uh, if you are mage player, especially free to play player, and you want to play as a damage dealer, I wouldn't really um, advise you to uh, choose Breath of the Jargentis as a main artifact for yourself. 
In terms of exclusive ones, of course, we need to speak about Infernal Flame, exclusive artifact for Lilia, uh, magic unit attack, legion attack, best uh, stats for the mage players, and why it's exclusive for Lilia, right? Uh, Lilia is played around from the Scorch, uh, that's the main style of Lilia gameplay. An additional effect, your legion gains magic kin when the wilder inflicts Scorch on enemies. Magic kin, magic unit attack, plus 15% for 5 seconds. This can be triggered once every 10 seconds. Well, synergy is pretty easy to understand. Lilia is Scorch user. The Infernal Flame uh, uses uh, gives us kin whenever we are applying the Scorch. So, like, everything is aligning, that's why I think Infernal Flame is exclusive for the Lilia. Another exclusive artifact, which is Mirage Orb, is exclusive for Bertrand Legion. One of the newest artifacts so far in the game, and one of the best, in my opinion, in terms of dealing damage. Uh, the stats, Magic Unit Attack, Legion Attack, great stats so far. But what's unique about this artifact is that uh, it uh, knocks two enemy legions uh, near the target. Uh, also, uh, like uh, target gem damage is 3000 on the level 1, which is pretty high. And the other legions which are gonna get hit by the knock will be dealt 1000 damage. Additional effect, every time your legion gains a buff effect through a hero skill, they deal 7% more artifact skill damage, up to maximum 21%, which is a huge amount. Duration is 20 seconds. Well, Bertrand and Toha is buffing themselves, so they have buffs in their play kit. That's why I think Mirage Orb is mainly good for the Bertrand. Even if you're gonna see a skill um, like use of usage in this small window, you will see that Bertrand is uses this Mirage Orb. That's why it's another hint for us to understand that Mirage Orb is especially good for the Bertrand uh, hero pair. Other artifacts like such as Staff of the Prophet is not that important in my opinion, that's why I'm not going to speak more about other artifacts. Um, now it's time for speak about the cavalry artifacts, which we have quite a, a big amount in this game. Uh, first of all, I will speak about the universal ones, and the best universal artifact for cavalry is, of course, King Kingslayer. Um, you can generally get Kingslayer from the normal chests. Uh, Kingslayer's uh, main, uh, uh, like damage dealer artifact uh, in terms of universals, in terms of free-to-play players. Uh, that's the best artifact you can get as a free-to-play player. The best stat is of course attack because cavalry needs to have a high amount of attack to destroy ranged units. Uh, cavalry unit attack, legion attack, great stats. Uh, dealing damage to 5 enemy legions, the deal, deal damage factor is physical, type is physical and damage factor is 1800. Also, legions belonging to other lords with less than 10% units remaining will be immediately defeated. A great artifact, if you are a cavalry player, you have to have this artifact to be um, happy regarding your playstyle, right? Another universal artifact for cavalry players is the lesser version of Kingslayer, which is uh, Sorland's Blade, which I have currently. Cavalry unit attack, Legion March Speed, secondary best uh, stat for the Cavs player. Uh, in terms of skill, dealing damage to two enemy legions. On Kingslayer, we had uh, four or five, if not, I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we had five. Now, uh, here we have two. Damage factor is 1600, up to maximum 3200. Uh, also, you are gaining uh, Legion Haste, March Speed bonus to 20% for 10 seconds. Uh, Universal um, Solon's Blade, simply because if you have it and you don't have any other artifacts for Cavs, you can use it on a, any single uh, Cavalry hero pair. We, on Cavalry artifacts, we have many different playstyles. For example, Wolf of the uh, Woman of Halo, uh, Unit HP, Legion HP, not that strong stats, but the most important thing about this artifact is that you're gonna teleport on the area, which is range 15, and in 15 seconds you will be teleporting back. I wouldn't recommend using this artifact only for particular situations, but in general not that strong. What's the strong artifact in, in terms of supportive and mobility type is Storm Arrows, especially if you like to kill some farmers, if you want to cross a river without uh, getting... Uh, 
scouted and also having great stats, attack stats on the uh, cavalry and legion attack stats on the, on the attributes from the storm arrows and what's really important about this artifact is that uh, you are going to teleport range without not going back uh, if we're gonna compare it to the wolf of the woman of Halo, uh, like storm arrows is like 10 times better artifact than that also you are getting um, rampage damage deal plus 12 percent and rampage is of course amazing um, style for the cavalry players because we are using like cavalry players are using uh, skill damage factor mainly to dealing the damage if you like to be sneaky you will be 100 percent using storm of arrows which can be get get from the normal um, pulls from the artifact uh, compendium uh, other artifacts which are already exclusive artifacts and in my opinion the best artifact so far in the game which is spring blades used especially with tier 5 players amazing stats for the cavalry players uh, cavalry unit attack legion attack uh, and also what's the most important thing about the spring blades is that you are throwing your blade to the target it's gonna spin on the way you will deal damage while spinning you will deal damage and whenever the uh, blades will come to you on the way back if there will be enemy legion you are going to deal damage to them which means it's a merit farmer artifact amazing and must have uh, it's uh, especially exclusive for emery's if we're gonna compare it these uh, blades are attached to emery's um, like the theme we can check it uh, by ourselves uh, and it's easy to understand that this is a spring blades right uh, so far, it's the best artifact for the cavalry players, an exclusive one for the Emerys. Of course, damage factor is type is physical, uh, damage factor throwing is 200, uh, damage factor return is 1000, and like this is too much, right? Too much damage, too much merits. Additional effect when your legion gains passion and passion is pretty natural for cavalry heroes. Uh, they also gain kin plus 15 percent uh, damage attack for uh, five seconds another exclusive artifact for cavalry players is oath of storm peak exclusive one for the uh Forondil uh, hero, uh, like this artifact came out with Forondil and generally whenever artifact comes out with a new hero that's the exclusive artifact for them the best stats, uh, cavalry unit attack, legion attack, uh, great stats for the cavalry uh, heroes. And the most unique thing about this artifact is that it gonna give you a clone of your legion, which gonna deal 50% of the damage, uh, which gonna last 10 seconds. Um, 10 seconds might not seem uh, pretty high, but if you will use this as a clone, an enemy will be targeting the clone, meanwhile you are dealing damage from your main legion. That can be a great and cool playstyle to play around uh, in terms of uh, cavalry players. That's the artifact, exclusive artifact for Forondil. Um, but I think in general, Spring of Spring Blades are the best artifact for the uh, cavalry units, which is exclusive for Emrys so far in the game. Uh, the last unit type which we have left for now is flying playstyle um, regarding flying playstyle like tier of arbon is a great for celestials because it gives us magic stats and also great utility supportive style of artifact which is universal of course uh fang of ashkari uh, like uh, will be great for the infantry which i forgot um for the universal ones like you will have a lot of defensive stats and you will be have, have using it for sure in terms of flying heroes i think like best flying hero is a thea and the exclusive thea artifact is visage of the sanctums right it's really easy to understand why this artifact is exclusive for flying hero thea Flying unit defense, legion attack, uh, kind of great stats for a um, Thea legion, and a, like exclusive one simply because of the skill, strike of the light, right? Consecutively grants three boom shields to be selected friendly legion. Shield factor is 900, shield duration is 10 seconds. Uh, grants one stack of the mark of the judgment to the wilder when they grant a shield to any friendly legion. Which means like Thea is giving us a lot of shields, this, sh this uh, skill will be uh, popped by whenever she, like Thea will give us some shields and the mark of the judgment max stack is 10. 10. 
Rage kill, rage kill clear all mark of the judgment stack and triggers supreme judgment, uh, dealing damage to the target legion, damage factor 250 per stack. Uh, mark of the judgment stacks are cleared after battle ends that's like a main artifact for thea uh, that's why i'm generally speaking about thea because thea has been the best flying hero which can be paired with every single hero pair currently in the game uh, that's i think that's it regarding universal and exclusive artifacts so far in this game um, i hope you liked the video i hope it was informative for you uh, if you, if it was press like subscribe share it always gives me more and more motivation to make great videos about this amazing game uh, so far that's all what i wanted to speak in this video about artifacts um, i hope everybody is having great day morning or night wherever you are we are going to see each other very very soon bye bye and good luck